close your eyes and take a couple of good deep breaths. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Then the next time, and the next time, try to stay with your breathing as much as you can. And make the breathing comfortable. Try to notice. Does long breathing feel good? If it does, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Make it shorter, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. See what kind of breathing is easy to focus on and feels good for the body. And try to keep with it. If your mind wanders off, just bring it back and start all over again. Wanders off again, keep coming back. You're trying to develop a couple of qualities in mind here. One is mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, which is the ability to notice what's, what you're doing and the results of what you're doing. Because you need these qualities in all your activities in life. So it's good to have training in them. Otherwise, if the mind is out of control, your whole life is out of control. So train the mind to keep coming back to the breath, coming back to the breath. And making the breath also helps not only the body, but makes it more interesting for the mind. If you keep the breath comfortable and easy coming in, it makes it a more interesting place to stay. You can find out about this breath energy flowing through your body, because it's not just the air coming in out of the lungs. When you breathe in, the muscles expand and contract. Impulses are sent all through your nervous system. Now you can get a sense of that when it feels easy all throughout your body as you breathe in, all throughout your body as you breathe out. It becomes a much more comfortable place to stay. You're more inclined to want to stay here, and that strengthens your mindfulness and your alertness. And it adds a third quality, which is called ardency, when you want to do this well. Again, this is a quality you need in all your activities in life. You do any kind of job. You want to keep in mind what needs to be done and how it's best done, and be alert to what you're doing to make sure you're doing it the right way. And ardency, if you find that you're not doing it the right way, you change. You make improvements. In this way, simply focusing on the breath in this way, you're developing some very basic but very necessary qualities for the mind that you're going to need to apply to all areas of your life. Because after all, it is your actions that shape your life. And where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. If the mind is in control, and you're in control of the mind, okay, you're shaping your life in the way you want it to go. But if the mind is out of control, you make up your mind you want to do something, and you find yourself doing something else. Then what you've learned doesn't give you much help. So the mind has to be trained so it actually takes the knowledge it's gained and can apply it. And as you work with the breath, you give it another quality as well, which is strength. Because sometimes we know the right thing to do and we can remember, but we just don't have the strength to do it. Where if you stay with the breath, it strengthens the body, strengthens the mind. Because the mind needs to rest. It spends its day thinking, thinking, thinking all the time. All over the place. If you were to draw a map of what the, where the mind has been in the course of just this morning, it would look like a bird's nest or a big tangle of rope. So the mind needs a good place to stay. Have a think about one thing. Think about the breath. That allows it to settle down and gain some strength right here. So this way the knowledge you've learned about what's right and what's wrong is easier to remember. You're more alert to whether you're actually doing it or not. And you have the strength to do the right things. This is how this process of meditation helps you in all your activities of life. So try to make it a daily activity. Take some time out for your mind. You can brush your teeth every day. You should be able to find some time to settle down the mind a bit so it can get some strength and gain some mindfulness and nourishment. So it becomes the kind of mind you want, one that shapes your life in a good direction.